Good morning everyone. It is another Saturday, so that means it's topic time for coffee and games. Um, I do have other games that I'm going to be streaming soon. I know it's taken longer for me to get to them than I expected, but that's life. So um, I am continuing though this morning with the Railroad Inc. expansions that I've been playing through this uh, morning. We have Arcade. Uh, let's see here if it will zoom in on that. There we go. Arcade is here this morning. And uh, Arcade is really um, just two little mini expansions. And the first one is called Pluckman, and the second one is called Tetromino. So let's go ahead and get into it and look at those dice. So this one has three dice. This is Pluckman. Uh, Pluckman, you roll all three dice and you have to assign them on uh, Pluckman. And um, let me make sure that's right. Yeah, that's a must call. Um, I played this one earlier this week, but uh, you draw the pluck man, or it might have a ghost uh, or fruit, and you have to put this on each one of the exits. Actually, this is just one die. What am I? What's going on with the other three dice here? I don't know what's going on with the other three dice here. Uh. Am I missing? I feel I because I only played two punches. Maybe there's more. There are more rules in this one. Okay, so there's four separate. Okay, I haven't even played two of these expansions uh, because I just played. Okay, I ignored the other dice. So we're gonna we're gonna find out new things this morning, <laughs> myself included. So there's also the rainbow die and the galactic invaders. Okay, I haven't even played. I've only played two of the four expansions. So there's four. Unique dice for four uh, different expansions. Pluckman and Tetromino are what we're going to do first. We'll save our scores and then I will give. Um, so this, these two, uh, the Invaders and the um, Rainbow, will I would generally, genuinely just be giving my uh, first impression. Oh, that's really strange. My, my Rainbow die is, I, I kind of wanted the opaque one into this transparent one. Uh, this isn't quite as cute. Oh well, so that's what I got. Um, so I'm gonna play through, but this, I know Puckman lasts seven rounds. We have to assign this one to every exit. If it uh, is at an exit where it doesn't get uh, used, then that's bad. If it does get used, um, you get additional points. Puckman is three uh, unused. I can't remember them all. Turn off now, but uh, Pluckman is three points, and unused ghosts or unconnected ghosts are two, and fruit is what helps you connect the ghosts. So that's important to remember. And fruit uh, just gets strong on the same route. So we want routes that are all connected. Um, and sorry, man, my eyes this morning. Um, we want to be able to do that in seven rounds. Okay, so to show you again, the die, the die is, let's see here, pull up here, it uh, is this one with fruit, pluck man, and ghosts. So there's all that. And we will get playing right now. And we'll put these on the side. I think these other ones are easy. I did, I totally missed that there were I had just been ignoring this. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Uh, here's our roll. And let's see here. Okay, so I got a ghost, uh, three roads, or well, three, two and a half roads, and one and a half railroads. So let's get going. I think what I'm going to do first is bring this woman out like this. I want to have to draw the ghost, so I'm going to draw the ghost here. This is the ghost. There's my beautiful ghost. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in more. I have to go like that. There we go. Okay. So there's my ghost. Um, and. I'm going to draw like this. And 
And so that's those three. And then I will connect over this way. And we need to put one in here. And then connect this way. And hopefully that's easy to connect to that exit. I'm going to do one thing because I feel like I am talking to you and you can't see me. So I'm going to add, add a thing over here that I haven't done. Uh, sorry for the delay. Um, Oh no, that's huge. Sorry. Give me just a second. Absolutely huge. Uh, I'm, I'm coming. Okay. There we go. Now, now we can actually talk together. Uh, Now we can talk together. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so getting back to it. There we go. Um, okay, so that's everything for the first round. Uh, that's round one. And we're going to roll again. Two roads, road with a railroad underneath, and that one. And there's Pluckman. Yay, so we're going to connect uh, this here. Well, we'll, we'll draw a pluck man right here. I think he kind of looks like an, or it, they look like an alligator. So we'll do that. And I'm going to put my, I'm not going to put anything there yet. I'm not going to worry about that yet. But I am going to put one road here. And this is two. I should make sure that says two. Two, two, like that. And um, so that's that. That's that. That's that. And then I can put this one with the railroad underneath it here. So that railroad is not connected to the network at this point, but that's okay. But because I'm going to connect this one to the network with that road. And that's, uh, that's pretty good. Okay, and um, I need some fruit though, I haven't got any fruit yet. Okay, so there's roads, there's that. I think what I will do is turn this like this. This is round three. Um, oh, oh, I will put Pluck man down here. There's my beautiful pluck man. I know that's hard to see. Uh, and then I'm going to turn, uh, go straight. And then turn. And then go straight. And that's round three. All right, I need some fruit. Come on, big money. There's a, uh, well, not fruit. So, well, I'm gonna put this down here. Another pluck man. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, pluck man has uh, come and attached here. This is round four. Uh, so that was a straight piece. I'm going to I guess turn this with this. Um, I'm gonna turn it like this. And I haven't used any of my specials yet, so. You know what, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this up here. I'm gonna turn it up here like this. And then I will 
start a new section here. And turn it here. And the good news is that uh, all of my current Pluckmans and Ghosts are connected. Um, I need I need fruit though. I need, so that's round four. I need fruit. That's that's where I'm at. Still no fruit. Another ghost. That's uh, frustrating. So um, let's see here. I'm gonna. I guess I will put this ghost over here. There's my ghost. I will. Uh, use this straight piece. Uh, no, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna use this uh, T section here. And this is five. Um, and then I will. I think I'll go straight here. That's a five, and then continuing on. Hmm, questions, questions. I think I will go straight here, have a station, railroad, there's a five, and then I can connect this one up with a uh, railroad here, and that's a five, and then we only have two rounds left, two more chances to get fruit, get a drink of coffee. All right, and with that, uh, come on, coffee, coffee, uh, coffee, that coffee's a fruit, right? right? Oh no, that's a ghost. Um, that's unfortunate because right now every ghost I have is negative two points if I don't get a fruit. I guess there's only one fruit set. That's right, there is only one fruit. I I just rolled better last time I played this. Um. Well, I'm either going to do horribly or do grandly. We'll see. Um, so let's go with a straight. Can I connect these two up? Let's see here. Um, maybe I should turn this way. This is round six. And then, uh, and I guess I'll put my... Um, this ghost over here. There's my ghost. Okay. Uh, but I'll turn this way. I will... Let's see. I will turn this way with the other... The one that has the station. And put a six. That doesn't make any sense. Why am I doing that? I'm going to do that up here. That's what I'm doing. And then I'm going to turn here to six. Those are gone. I have a straight one left. I also have a... I haven't used any of my specials. I'm going to use a special now. I don't know why I haven't been using specials, but I'm going to use a special. Um, I guess I'll use this one with the two on it. No, I'm, I'm going to use the one with the four. Please. And there we go. And there's a six. And then I'm just going to go. Let's see here. Straight over here. Put a six there and hope for no whammies and get the fruit that I need. And I still didn't get any fruit. Okay, so this is going to be a pretty bad score on the special system. Uh, on the, uh, yeah, on the special dice. So there's my ghost. Um, wow, doesn't really matter because this is just bad. Um, okay. 
I, I guess I'll draw a ghost over here because I'm, I'm just going to do that bad. I, I know I can mitigate it some, but uh, not going to matter. Okay, so first of all, let's uh, let's connect this one up with a uh, last special. I guess we'll go with this one here and go. I don't know how many turns. This is this is just awful. Okay. Um I I went into this being all optimistic and now I'm not feeling optimistic at all about my score. Okay. Uh I still like this one. I'll I'll, I'll admit it. Um we use that and then we're just gonna go um I guess I'm going to go let's see one two three four I can't make it that way far enough I guess I will just go like this first and connect this up one two put a station here go like this and then one two Like this. And then I have to use two more roads up. One, two. All right, this is not going to be a good score. Uh, but so be it. Um, okay, so we'll write arcade down here. And I'll write my personal feelings on this one in a second. But right now, I think uh, I need a score. So right now we have, let's see, this one did not connect. This one did not connect. This one did not connect that has a station. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I took a big gamble trying to get these all connected. So but I have 24 points on connected stations. Uh longest road is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, I think. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, seven. And Longest railroad, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, so it's five. Eh, kind of mediocre. I only got uh, one, two, three, four, five in the middle. And unconnected spots, I got one, two, three. Oh, that's not quite as bad as I thought it was going to be, so that's not. Okay, but for score, I got um, one, two, three of the Pluckmans. So that's nine points. If I do make sure that I'm doing that right. Um, gain three points if the network contains at least one Pluckman. Uh, ghost exits, but no fruit. Lose two points. Oh, so it's just three points. So it's three points and then... Minus two for each of these ghosts, which is one, um, two, three, four. So negative uh, eight, three minus eight is negative five. So negative eight points. So that takes care of that. This is positive two, nine, uh, 24, and nine is 33. That's kind of, eh. okay. All right, I'll, I'm going to write. My feelings down that. I'll talk about that one at the end. And then we have another one to do. All right, this one is Tetram Tetromino. Tetromino is basically a Tetris, and it's a may, not must. And you use uh, this one that has uh, different Tetris polyomino shapes. And uh, as you use it, you can um, choose to uh, put a square around your... Um, different uh, little parts where you record your round numbers, the, the squares where you record your part, uh, your round numbers. Um, if you do and you fill them out, then they are worth one point at the end of the game. If you don't fill them out, they are worth negative points. But you have to, it's all or nothing, and I think they're all fours. Yeah, this is, uh, let's see here, there's a square, there's a single line, there's the Z shape. Uh, the little T, Z shape, L, and Z. Okay, 
so yeah they're all four so um, as long as you can get three filled out it's always worth it and this one lasts seven pounds and it's considered easy all right so we're gonna get going with this one and uh, right off the bat choices okay cool i like this um Oh, and I am going to um, try to use it every time, even though it's in May. So I'm going to go, let's see here, I'm going to go around here and here and here and here with that. Okay. And I'm going to go like this. So I already have two filled out, which is cool. And I'm gonna put a another T here. So there's three, so it already is positive points for me at the end of the game. And that's good. And then I'm gonna turn here, and I was able to get four points out of it. So and I'm already to the middle. So that was a good first round there. Wow, bunch of bunch of rail, railroads on that one. Okay, so this would be a good chance for me to use a special. What special do I want to use? I think I want to use this one. So I'm going to put a two there, and I'll put a station in here. And I think I will also just um, let's see. I'm going to go. I'm going to go like this. So like I said, I'm going to try to use all, all these. So there's that. Um, and get that connected, which is cool. And then I will um, I'm actually going to turn here. I know that's weird with me just putting that there but um <clears throat> we have those routes connected and then i'm gonna go straight here and i'm going to i'm going to go straight here with a station in the middle and then I'm going to uh, I'm going to connect this railroad here and I know that leaves me a lot of work but I'm okay with that and there we go all right the square showed up so what can I do? What can I do? Um, I'm going to use the T down here. Do I have to use the tetrominal before I do anything else? Uh, before I draw any routes. So yeah, before it wouldn't have mattered because I was going to do it. Uh, is the fields one time use or dry erase? Oh, the uh, these are these are dry erase. They come that way. Yep, yeah, they're at, well. Actually, um, oops, I uh, I've written my because I'm I'm doing different little mini expansions, so I I have them written down here. Uh, but yeah, they're all all dry erase, which is nice. Um. And, and the dry erase markers do come with erasers on them, which I know some games don't, and that annoys some people. So, okay, where do I want to put my squares? I think I will put my squares uh, for this one, because I have to do that first. I'm going to put them right here, 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 and here is what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to put a T down here. How are you doing today? Do, 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 do. Uh, three, 
and I need to figure out what I'm doing. I'm going to just turn here, actually, and which is weird that I just put that there, but I don't have to. I, I can still net positive here, so I think I'm going to do that. And I think what I will do is I will... Uh, yeah, I'll turn here. So I'm still net positive by one. There's a three. And I'm going to put this one here with the station here. And that's round three. And continue that way, see what we get. So I have to sign this one first, it's the Z shape. I will, if I use it, I'm going to use it because I said I was going to try to use them all. So I will go like this. And I didn't get a bend this time, so maybe I should use a special. Um, well, I'm going to first put a straight line here. This is round four. Uh, doing okay, starting a long four-day holiday weekend with playing Outer Worlds video game. What about you? I'm doing pretty well. Uh, it rained all day yesterday, so I'm hoping to get outside and do some work today. Um, but, yeah, doing well. And then I've been playing Arc Nova, trying to get ready to do some stuff with that soon, too. So that's always a good thing to, to play a good game like that. Um, yeah. I... I'm slightly flummoxed with myself with making decisions with these dice, but that's okay. That, 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 that's not a bad thing. Um, I'm going to turn here with this one. I'll put a four there. And go straight here. And put a four there and then I think what I will do mm, I don't I have choices uh, choices choices I can use a special there I can use a special here I have time to not do it I because I have seven rounds so I will wait and um, do I want to wait? No, I, I'm, I don't want to wait. I'm, I'm going to use a special. I'm going to use a special and... Oh, no. I'll, I'm going to play it dangerous. I'll put a station here and put that there. I play it dangerous. Okay. And on round five. And so I need to use my specials up. There's some... There's some turns, and there's a uh, there's a way to get some points. Okay, so I'm going to do some things. I think what I want to do is I will probably... I'm, okay, so I'm just going to plan this out. I'll probably go here, and then I'll probably put this one here, because I can flip that so that it's useful. Probably go here. And then I will probably go here. So if I do that, and then I went like this, and then it's at least net zero. Okay, so we'll start with that. This is round five. And then... Um, and I did assign that already. Then if we do all this, is there a better way to do this? I could flip this one. Use a special in there and do something else here. But I think I'm going to go with what I, what I said I was going to do. I, I, I think I'm going to stick with that. Okay. So we'll put this here. I'm going to turn this here like this with the station. I don't really know why, but that's what I decided to do, so I'm going to stick with it. 
and oh, because I, I think maybe I can connect this. That's why. So we'll put this T here. We'll see if it works out for me. I just need a straight piece in there and connect this bend here. There's a five. Okay. Uh, I have an empty square here, an empty square here, an empty square here that I need to connect. That's where I'm at. And all right, some bends, some railroad. Ah, uh, I need the straight piece. Okay. Well, I could do the safe thing right now and just connect this up. Um, if I do that, let's see. Or I could use one of my specials because I only have two rounds left. So if I use a special, where, what makes the most sense with my special? I think maybe using the special makes sense because I could go here. So I could go like, well, let's go ahead and assign this. So I'm going to assign this like this. One, two, three, four for the Z shape. And our Z is done. And then, let's see here. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think I'm going to just do the safe thing and connect this here. Um, put the six. Why did I do that? I don't know. Um, but I am going to put a bend here and then put another bend here and then uh, so that's six that's my two bends and I could put uh, I'm gonna wait and hopefully get a straight piece here if not I can always put a special there but I'm gonna put this here with the station and turn it this way and then I am going to use a special because I have two specials left and it's round six next round we're done with the game so round six I will uh, let's do this one I guess um, actually I might want to use that one down there so let's do this one where we go station, road, road, and I don't know if that was the right choice or right, wrong choice. We'll find out quickly, but uh, it, was, it was a choice. And then last round, we get uh, roads, and okay, I, I, th I think that wasn't bad. Um, so we know this is going to go here. That's nice. And if I were to go and put this one here, then I could go like this and this and make this net zero. And that would allow me to do what I said and use every one of the tetromino pieces. So I'm going to do that. So I'm not a liar. All right. So we have a plan. I use the tetromino piece and then oops, that was a straight road. So this one will go here. Round seven. <clears throat> and this one will go here. Round seven, and that's not what you were. Let's leave you what you were so we can see. And um, I mean, I could do it. I don't think there's much. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna do this way. I think that makes the most sense. Round seven. And then the final thing is here. Okay. 
and that's that. Okay. Um, so end of the game, the ones with uh, boxes filled out for this expansion uh, are positive points, the ones with negative. So let's um, let's do that first, and then we'll work backwards here. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five uh, negative, and then um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Uh, yep, that's right, because that adds up to 28. 7 times 4 is 28. Uh, 23. Um, so 23 minus 5 is 18 positive. That was easy to get a nice positive score there. And then let's uh, go back to connected routes. Um, this one has two, and it's its own little tiny, tiny little route, so that gets four points. And then, um, oh, I didn't connect this one to anything else either. So this one is a one, two, three, so that's eight, so that's 12. And this one is one, two, three, and that's it, so another eight, so 20 points. So we didn't get a lot of connected routes on this one. I, I, I thought I had connected this up, and I, I failed to do that, so that is that. Uh, longest road is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I believe. Yep, that looks right. Eight, eight's decent. I'm okay with eight. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I think five is our longest rail. And eight out of the middle. And disconnects errors are one, two, three, four. Five, five errors. I thought I had six or seven, so that's not bad. Uh, so for a total, this is 13, 21, 26, uh, 34 plus 20 is 54. Uh, okay, and this was the tetramino. We'll just write tetramino on there. And what I give it for a score. How I like it. Okay, and we'll set that aside and grab a new one. And these are the two that I forgot to play ahead of time, so I don't have to look at the rules real quick. But I have, okay, let's see here. The rainbow die. The rainbow die is a medium uh, difficulty and it's played over six rounds. And the most important thing, first of all, is it a may or must? Uh, it's a must, so I always have to apply it. Um, so we have things like rain, rainbows, clovers. Looks like two, uh, three rainbow sides, two rain sides, and one clover. Okay, as far as what's going to happen. Uh, rainbow, dry a rainbow in an empty space. Or erase a rainy cloud from a space of your choice and replace it with a rainbow, as long as the space is not orthogonally adjacent to another space that already contains rainbow. So rainbows can't go next to each other. Uh, rain, draw a rainy cloud on the board of the player to your left. Oh, can I even play this one solo? Uh, rain cloud must be drawn in empty spaces orthogonally adjacent to a pre-existing rainbow. If such space does not exist, you can draw the rainy cloud on any empty space. A rainy cloud has no effect. I'm just going to draw them wherever. And then clover, draw a clover in an empty space. Networks connected to the same space with a rainbow are also connected to each other. Uh, oh, that's cool. Rainbows interrupt your longest highway and or railway. That's not cool. At the end of the game, each rainbow is worth two points for each clover that is next to it, orthogonally. Uh, rainbows, rain clouds, and clovers occupy the whole space. Nothing else can go there. And then open-ended routes leading into a space that contains a raining cloud or a clover do not count as errors. Okay, so rainbows uh, connect routes. Raining clouds and clovers don't connect routes, but they don't count as errors either. Okay, so this is this is interesting. Uh, I'm like I said, I haven't played this one before, so this will, this will be interesting. And this is just six rounds on this one, so. Here we go. There's a clover. All right. And make sure uh, clovers are just empty spaces anywhere I want. Okay. 
So, um, let's start on the other side of the board. I usually start on the left side of the board. Let's, uh, let's start on the other side. So, I'll do I have to draw these first. At the start. Yep, so this goes first. Um, so, clover. I don't know. Put a clover right here, right in the middle of the board. I can't draw clover. <laughs> so, this is going to be ugly. I promise it's not a fungus, it's a clover. All right, there's my four leaf clover. And um, I guess I'll do this. I said I would start on the right side of the board, and then I immediately draw on the left side of the board out of habit, because that's what I do. Habit. Habit is much easier for a brain than do things that are not happening. Okay. Uh, turn this way. And um, I guess I'll just go like this. And then. Let's be crazy ish. Draw a station here. And there we go. Okay, that's first round. Oh no. Run away die. And a rainbow. Okay, rainbow. Um I guess I'll just put a rainbow right here. To put a one there okay um and then i'm gonna go this way with this one this station and then i can connect uh this the t junction that's good Needs more coffee. All right, and I have a straight piece and a, uh, I guess I'll turn this way and connect this up. There we go. No, oh, that's not one, that's two. Okay, two, two, two. All right, so I only have four more rounds. Um, rainbows continue the route, clovers uh, just don't count as empty spaces, but if I have a rainbow and a clover uh, next to each other, that's good. So I guess I should have put that next to it. You know what, I'm going to move that, because I, I, I forgot the rules. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. I'm going to put it right here, so that it's points. Each rainbow is worth two points for each clover orthogonal adjacent. Okay, yep. Looking better. All right, there we go. And another rainbow. All right, uh, I'll put another rainbow right here. These are really sad rainbows. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm hurting everybody's feelings that can draw. Um. <laughs> Um, let's, uh, I don't know. Let's turn this one. I used to be able to draw, but dry erase doesn't help me with my drawing skills. Um, I guess I will go and turn this one this way. No, because I could in, I could I could just terminate it at the rainbow and that would continue it. So I'm gonna turn this one this way. And this is uh this is also three. And I'm gonna come down here and hit the rainbow. And then I'm gonna hit the rainbow again. 
Seems like a good idea. And I have three rounds left to use specials. I haven't needed to use specials yet, but I'm not going to. And another rainbow. Cool. I like it. Um, so, first of all, uh, I have to draw a rainbow. I'm going to draw a rainbow right here. And then I'm going to uh something 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 draw a straight line right here there we go and then i will draw a straight line with the station in the middle and then i will uh, do a t here And then, um, uh, guess I'll turn this this way. And I'm going to use a special because it doesn't, it, it's easy to deal with it. So I'm going to, I'm going to use this special right here and, um, the station right here. And then railroads and hopefully that doesn't hurt me but that's uh, round four and we're on round five. Oh no a rain cloud rain cloud has appeared and with the rain cloud I have to draw that first uh draw a rain cloud on the board of the player to love cloud must be drawn in empty space orthogonally adjacent to pre-existing rainbow that's not a big deal because that that helps me out here, kind of, actually. So, put the five there, and there's my rain. Sad rain cloud. Okay. So, there's my rain cloud. Um, I can... I think I can get connected to some stuff here. So, I will use a special. But which one? Which special gets me... Uh, I think the first thing is I want to make this go up straight here. And that's six. Or this is five. Sorry, five, not six. We're over at six. Five. And so I think I need the one with three. Yep, I need this one. So we're going to use this one so I can go to my station, road, railways. Okay, cool. I like that. And then I can turn right into that with this. I'm liking this. It's good. It's all good so far. And then I can turn into it again right here. Uh, but if I do that, is that what I want to do? I don't know if that's what I want. I'm, I'm going to hold off on that one in a second. What I'm, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect up here. Put a station and turn this way and then i'm going to turn this way with that one that's what i'm going to do uh because i could put a rainbow here i could put uh, a special next round maybe you can get this connected to it i have options so last round because this is a short one around six. Oh no all right another sad cloud has to be drawn first uh, all right sad cloud I will draw you here. Meep, meep. Sad cloud. It's crying. Um, okay, so I was really hoping for a T that didn't show up. Um, so I will use the straight one here. Six. Um, so that's connected. So I have to use a special here. Which special makes the most sense? I think the special that makes the most sense is the one that I just used. So that's unfortunate. Um, so I'm going to have to use this one. That, that's not too bad. Because, oh yeah, that's, that's fine. I don't know why I wrote seven. This is round six. And then we go straight up here to a station and then uh, 
turn and turn. I don't think that helps me connect anything up. I think I'll have one error on this one. One error is not bad though. I've had zero errors before, but one's not bad at all. Okay, um, so let's score this. Let's start with connected routes. Everything's connected. Um, if it has a rainbow, raining clouds and clovers don't connect. So actually this isn't connect, this is two, so that's a four. Uh, so that was unfortunate over there, but this we have one. Let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, which is 20. So 20 plus our four is 24. Okay, that's not bad. Not great, but not bad. Um, and then longest road and rainbows don't connect longest. So one, two, three, or one, two, three, or one, two, three, four. <laughs> that's a really short long road. And then Longest rail, one, two, three, four, five, six, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven's are oh that's that's not bad. And then we got everything in the middle. And we only had one error. Um and then um each rainbow is worth two points for each clover orthogonally adjacent to it. So we have one, two, three rainbows that have one clover or orthogonally adjacent, so that's six points. So not a huge score on this bonus, but that's okay. And then, uh, so six minus one is five, 14, 21, plus four is 25, plus 24. Um, did I do that right? Let's see, 28, 35, 44, 43, 40, yep, 49. Yep, I did it right. Okay, so this was the rainbow. And I'll put my score. And then last one. And the last one is the invader. And this one is. Okay, the invader is Galactic Invader. Uh, seven rounds, medium. At the start of each game, each player draws two aliens on the board of the player to the right. I have to draw it on mine. Uh, bottom right corner of two different empty spaces. So I will, I'll just put them like this. Um, I'll put two aliens. Ooh, aliens, oh no. All right. Um, at the end of each round, roll the clock. So these ones are not every other uh, mini expansion we've played so far is beginning, but this one is end of the round. Roll the Glax Invaders die and resolve its effects. Um, three faces alien, draw an alien in the bottom right corner. Only one alien per space. Okay, so aliens. Uh, attack. First, all the aliens on your boards activate their shield. You must draw a circle around each one of them to show it. Then each alien attacks, destroying everything in their space. You must erase everything in space except the alien. That's kind of awful. And then nukes. And that's uh, one-sixth of the die. One side. Uh, choose one alien on your board and erase it. And so they're just going to be erasing stuff. And am I missing anything else? At the end of the game, you lose one point for each alien remaining on your board. When you draw something in a space that contains an alien without a shield, you must erase that alien. Okay. Um, the only way to erase an alien with a shield is with the nuke action. Okay, that's easy. Let's do it. Um, and that's uh, seven rounds. Okay. Dang it. We already rolled a nuke, so that's useless. Oh, no, no, it's not. I can get rid of one of these aliens. That's right. Uh, one of the ones that's already there. So cool. So we're going to erase this one right there. That one's gone. Um, let's start on the right, like I said I would last time, and make a T here. We're going to be avoiding the aliens, though. And then I'm going to make another T here. And... Da, 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 da. 
And we're going to go out this way. And this is not connected. There's no station here, if you can't see that well. And I am going to turn and hopefully get this connected later on with the station in the correct spot. Um, that was not a bad first round. Let's see what we get. Oh no, the alien, that's the shield, right? Attack. All the aliens on your board activate their shield. Draw a circle around. Okay, so I can't do anything about that. Uh, destroy everything. Okay, there's nothing there. That's not bad. Not a big deal right now. Okay. I feel like this is probably a more interactive expansion, um, but I, I play this game by myself most of the time. So that's interesting. Um, let's see, that's a lot of T's. What do I want to do with these? I, I guess I'll put one T here. And I could just run it off the board and then it's done. But I don't think I want to do that. I think I want to come down here. And so those are those T's. And then what I can do is I can um, I can use a special right now. I can connect this up. And I think that's what I'll do. So I will uh, I don't know though. The, you know what? I'm just going to go in this way. And do this. I, I, the, 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 I don't know. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to go straight here with the next one. And that's what I did. Okay. That was the thing. Oh no, an alien. Okay, so I don't have somebody to, to pass to. I, I wish there was like a general rule for um, bottom right corner of any empty space on the board. But I, why wouldn't I not just put it where I don't care about it? Uh, I guess I do kind of care. That, so I'm going to put two alien, an, an alien down here. Okay. Okay, there we go. There's an alien down there. Um, and then I guess I will go... Uh, I'll turn... Uh, let's see. I'm going to go here with this one, put a station in, and then, um, I can connect that, and I will. And then I'm going to go straight again here. And uh, I'm going to turn this one here. And don't have to use uh, special yet. So I'm going to save it because we're only on round three. And there's two bins. That and that. And, oh, this should go at the end of the round. And I just remember that this one is different. It goes at the end of the round. Okay. Um, I don't think that would have affected anything yet, but, um, just in case. Okay, so I'm going to go down here. And that is done. Bunch of these. I don't know what I want to do with that. That's just, uh, silly. Um... I'm going to go like this, I guess, turn here, and um, let's see, I guess I'll turn this way to go that direction. These are just kind of boring dice. Okay, I haven't used any specials, so... Let's use one here. 
I, I, I know it's not necessarily the wisest decision, but I'm going to use one here. I'm going to use the one, this one. Because I could wait one more round, but I'm not going to. I'm going to make it fun. And go like this. And like that. And okay. And then I have to circle this one. And okay. Um, this will be nothing because I already have both aliens circled. Um, I could. I could do something. So I, I guess first I will go here. And this is round five. And I'm going to go and use my T right here. T junction is in round five. And we could. Can turn this here, and I'm going to do that. This is round five, and I'm going to hope that this turns back this way. Maybe I don't, I don't know, uh, and just try to get this one off the board. I guess. I guess I don't know. Um, is that good? No, let's 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 uh let's try to get a four way. Uh, yeah, a junction in there. One of these specials. So, um, on that note, is there any special that's actually any good right now? Uh, yeah. Let's try. Let's try this one. We're gonna go. Put our station in there, go like this, go like this, go like this. Uh, I don't know if that was a good choice or not. But I still have to use a straight, so I will just um, come down here. And hope that I get really lucky, but we'll see. That's going to be useless again because it's just the shield thing. All right, so that's that. I know I want to connect this one up. That's what I was hoping to see. So we'll put our. That was five and six. Uh, we will put um, that in right away. Now we're on six. Okay. And then we will connect this one right away. Uh, kind of was hoping for a T, not that. But this is actually really good. So um, we'll turn here. And then you can just turn and be done with it. You know what? I'm going to turn down here. Because I do have one special left. So there's that. I've got a bunch of things connected. I only have these two unconnected right now. And my aliens aren't causing a bunch of problems. So last round. Um... Again, a useless alien die. So, uh, okay. Let's use a, a last special. Uh, well, first of all, let's uh, come down here. And get this connected to an exit. So we'll go down here like this. Seven, and then we'll use this one, and that's a seven. And yeah, there's two errors there, but I'm not super worried about that. Connecting to the exit, I think, is a better play. Um, so we'll go here, and actually, this one will go here, so that there's only one error. Um,
Oh, so this will happen less. So yeah, there's an error here because the alien will destroy all that. Okay, whatever, that's fine. Um, but I placed it legally. And then we'll use a special, this one, to connect this. And then this. And that's it. Okay, I only have uh, one, two errors, so we'll just mark that down now, I believe. No, no, there's three. So I could have gone up here with that one. Maybe I'd just do that instead. I just didn't see that. Okay, so that's seven. Uh, so, um, still, just two errors. Uh, two errors, and then... I think these are all connected because I see station, 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 station. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine exits connected. Nine exits connected is 32 points. Um, and then one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, yeah, six for longest road. Longest rail is going to be longer this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's nice. That was a decent one. And we only got four in the middle this time. And aliens don't do anything else with points, right? Uh, oh, negative two points, because there's still two aliens on my board. Okay, negative two points. All right, fine. Uh, so these cancel each other out. 11 plus 6 is 17, and that's 49 points. All right, aliens, I'll just tell you right now uh, what I think about this one, and then we'll go through the other three and give you my uh, quick thoughts and scores on them. Um, it's, uh, sorry. Trying to go back to my other screen here. Okay, so let's talk about all these. Um, aliens, I think this is like a 4.5 because I don't need a bunch of interaction with other people. The aliens didn't do a whole lot. Um, they could I, I easily mitigated. I don't really care. They weren't really in the way. So this is just kind of a gimmicky one. Doesn't do anything um, big. Got, I didn't have to make any real important uh, choices related to it. Uh, Rainbow. Rainbow, it was fun. That was my first time playing it. I, I want to play it again, um, but it didn't impress me. It seemed really easy to deal with. Um, so putting Clover next to Rainbows is easy. The fact that you don't get penalized by the Rainbow, uh, but by the rain cloud anymore other than it just takes up space that might score your points uh and that it is also an interactive one that's part of what i definitely didn't like about this i don't need this game to be an interactive game uh maybe you like that but like the aliens passing it and making it just mean doesn't sound fun to me um the possibility of because i think the rain cloud can be drawn by the person next to you on your left uh yep I, I don't think this one would be as big of a deal, so I didn't score it quite as low, but 6-5, it's fine. I didn't love it, didn't hate it. It's fine, I'll try it again. Um, and let's go to Tetromino. The Tetromino one was my favorite of these four. And maybe, no, actually I'm going to put it at a 7-5. Uh, because I like polyomino stuff. It wasn't that challenging, it was pretty straightforward. Uh, it was my best score here. That's not why I did it. We have 49, 49, 54. Um, and, but I just like solving more puzzles, and I feel like that gave me a little bit more of a puzzle to solve. And uh, I didn't have to use it, too, so that, that was um, just a nice addition without being in my way. This one, I wanted to like it more, but both times I've played it, it's been so luck-based and pushy luck um, on whether, uh, and this is the Pluckman, whether the um, fruit show up or not, and you've drawn them in the most advantageous way. Um, 
I give it a 6.5. It's fine. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I don't really, if somebody wants to play that one, I'll play it with them, but it's not one I would choose. That's how I, I feel. About Pluckman, I wish it was a little bit more fun, um, but I think my, without a doubt, my favorite out of the, and that's why I raised it to 7.5 instead of just 7, but my favorite out of these four mini expansions is the uh, Tetrahomino one, because it provides the most interesting puzzles. So that's what I think of those four from the arcade expansion. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Um, I'm going to be back with more games soon, um, Sunday night or Monday night. And uh, yeah, happy gaming. Hope you have a good weekend doing whatever you're doing out there. Catch you later.